guys, this is Arlene. I have a couple of packages that I received in the mail the other day and I wanted to go ahead and share them with you guys. I didn't have a chance to um, to open them until now, so let me go ahead and share those with you. But before I do, I wanted to share some of the um, coloring that I've been doing. And if you notice, most of these, they don't have their clothes colored. Well, at least these two they didn't because I've been practicing skin and hair. Uh, this is, and I forget her name now, but she's from the Creeper Crew um, collection that I've been coloring up. I've do, been doing pictures and or coloring them up and putting them in the Dollar Michaels um, picture frame. So um, I wanted to do more black hair. So I did her and then I did her skin. I gave her some teal green eyes. And I didn't do her dress yet. Her dress is a little complicated if you see her dress. So I'll just play around with that a little bit. Here's Cheeky Beach. <clears throat> I was playing around with the highlights. I didn't really like the way this one came out. I'm probably, next time when I go in, I'll probably put um, a few over here and maybe like one or two up there. And then another on her crown here. So just playing around with the brown hair. But I like the brown hair combination here. And for this one I used, um, I believe I used uh, E31, E33, E35, and E37 is the combination I used on her hair. And then here's this cute little gal, another La La Land image. I gave her blue eyes. I love the little panda. Um, I like the way her hair came out. So I'm going to paper piece her dress, and I'll probably color in her shoes whatever uh, matching color for her dress is, whatever the matching color is. I used At You Speak a Glitter pens on her barrettes and her hair and she's just adorable and this one is called I shared this in a haul it's this little gal here this is birthday Marcy and this is available at stampersdream.com and she's just so adorable it's my first time coloring her up so can't wait to play around with her now monochromatic love it you guys um I was sitting by Jana, and she's a design team member for La La Land Crafts. I was sitting by her at the Copic class, and she had colored up a PI image uh, by MFT in a monochromatic tone. And I really love the way that that came out. out. The colors that I used on her are uh, W00, W1, W3, and W6. And I really love the way that it came out. It's just really neat how you can do like monochromatic and then you can put like color on your background. But I'll put a project together and show you guys how you can incorporate this into a card. Um, but really neat. Um, monotone, which is why it's called monochromatic, um, without color. But it's really cool how you can um, create that shading uh, with just uh, black and white. So anyways, just wanted to share that with you guys first. Now let's go ahead and get on to the packages that I received. The first one that I got was from Dale, and Dale is Creatively Chloe on YouTube. Hey, Dale. And she totally surprised me with this because she's like, you know, undercover, <laughs> undercover or something because she had like, she didn't message me or anything that she was going to send me something. So this was a complete surprise. So I opened up the um, envelope to save some time, but I didn't look in here yet. And... um Oh, wow, Dale, thank you so much. She sent me some, I think this is Maya Road trim. Let me take a look. Is there a card in here? Um, let's see. I believe this is Maya Road. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, wow. Oh, look at how pretty that stick pin is. I love that. Oh my goodness, how pretty. Thank you so much. I think this is Maya Road. Thank you so much, Dale. Oh my goodness, she gave me a lot. I love this. And I don't know if you guys know, but you can take this ribbon, and I've done this with my smaller trim, put it in a Ziploc bag and spray it with your Lindy Stamp Gang stains, or um, you know, pour a little bit of your stains in there and kind of move it around. You can totally custom your own um, rosettes. And I'll do a tutorial on that so you guys can see. Um, so you don't even really need to get like different colors, but oh my goodness, pink is so gorgeous. I love this. Thank you so much, Dale. You like so surprised me. I really appreciate this. It's so pretty. Um, and you know me, I'm, I'm not really a pink person, but when it comes to pink and browns, it's my favorite combo. I love pink and brown together. So thank you so much. I appreciate that. Love, love, love rosette trim. And thanks to Rena, she got me hooked on that frog feathers <laughs> trim. 
So if you guys um, haven't seen the um, video that Rena put out on the To Die For Rosette Trim, you can go to etsy.com slash shop slash frog feathers and that's where the trim is available and it's really gorgeous. Thank you, Dale. And then she says, hold on. Okay, she has a little note for me in this one. So, love this trim. This is forever my favorite trim, you guys. Okay, hold on. I love how she packaged everything. It's so pretty. Um, oh. Hold on, she did write me a note here. Oh my goodness, look at these stick pins, you guys. These are gorgeous. Look how long those are. That is really, this is a really nice corsage pen. Wow, that is so pretty. I love, you guys, look at her. Her stick pin is just so pretty. Thank you so much, Dale. Such a surprise. I really appreciate it. You're such a sweetie. And she put in four more of your awesome paper piecing. Enjoy, Dale. Oh my goodness, Dale. Wait, hold on. Oops, this one's not coming off. Okay. Such a cute, um, when I see cupcakes, it reminds me of Joe. Hey, girl. Oh, no way. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Dale. I don't have either of these stacks. Okay, you guys, let's take a peek. This one's called Material Girl. Oh, wow, look at that. And then this one is called Wanted. Look at how cute that is, guys. It's like a little um, cowboy riding horse but you wouldn't even be able to tell I mean that paper is just gorgeous how pretty that is I love Cosmo Cricut thank you so much girly I appreciate it look at all the wonderful goodness thank you so much that is such a wonderful surprise I also got this package from Yvette hey Yvette girl and um Let's see here. I got this a while back, but I wanted to share what she sent me and show you guys the beautiful card she got. Uh, she created for me. Let me just grab this out of the bag. Oh, box here. Okay. Um, so here's the card. You guys, look at how gorgeous this card is. It's so Parisian. It's got the Eiffel Tower. This really cute image, uh, pretty image of the Eiffel Tower. I love how she distressed everything. It's just gorgeous. I love it. And then it looks like she made this lollipop flower. Sorry for the noise. There's construction in our neighborhood. Um, she did this ac acrylic die cut. I love how she did that on the background. So really pretty. So thank you, Yvette. Really gorgeous. And she sent me some really pretty trim, you guys. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. I love these pom-pom trims. They're really cute. And then she sent me some um, fun trim, and these are perfect for my kids. And then for my doggy, Nala. And then look at this. I love this trim. Oh my gosh, this is going to be like going into my hoarding vault. <laughs> look at how gorgeous that is, you guys. I love that. And she sent it to me in three different colors. Thanks, Yvette. And then here's this. She sent me some images. And if you guys follow her channel, she showed these on um, a few of her videos. But these are the Sweet Pea stamps. Aren't those gorgeous? I can't wait to try coloring those. It's got the butterfly on here and then on her hair. It's really pretty. So thanks, Yvette. And then here's some more fun stuff for my kids. And my kids do play soccer, so that's going to be fun. This one says um, games. This is perfect for boys. I love it. And then for my doggy. Those are so perfect. Thank you, Yvette. So Yvette sent me those. And then um, she also um, sent me some of this um, music note paper. Or music sheet, sorry. She got this at an antique shop. So thank you, Yvette. And she sent me a whole bunch, you guys. Really pretty. I can't wait to distress those and use them. So thanks, Yvette. Now the other package that I got is from my girl, Jade. Hey, girl. Um, she told me that she was going to be sending me a package. 
and um, she said the package just kept growing. <laughs> so um, let me, I haven't opened it yet, so let me just cut the tape real quick. Oh, no way. Oh, she sent me a whole stack, you guys, of Le Romantique. <gasps> Jade, thank you. This is my all-time favorite graphic 45 paper is Le Romantique. This and probably Steampunk, but you know what, you guys? I just love everything Graphic 45's come out with. Thank you so much. And of course, this is my favorite sheet right there. Thank you, Jade. Um, you know what? Let me try to find a card, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Look how gorgeous that is, you guys. So Jade loves cameos. And look at these little cameo images that she has on the card. Let me take the get the glare. Isn't that gorgeous? Jade is so talented, you guys. Um, I just love her work. And she's one of our um, ex-DSC, Deshabby Chic members. She was with us from the almost the beginning um, when we first, Bona and I first started our kit club back in 2009. So she's awesome. She rocks. And I love like how the tearing and she has a little um, script peeking in the back. And let me just read this really quick, guys. Aw, she's so sweet. Thanks, Jade. Oh my god, what a cute card. So there's her card again. Look how sweet that is. I love how she um, has the the lace, the vintage lace, peeking off the sides there. Really cool. And this little teardrop bling. Ugh, so pretty. And let's take a look here. Okay, she sent me ooh, this is nice this is a latisse border and corner punch that's really cool can't wait to play around with that she sent me create with metal quality metal sheets oh that'll be neat could do some embossing and some die cutting very cool ooh this is so pretty this is Ashlyn I've never seen like this is really pretty ooh so many possibilities with this spray. I love it, Jade, thank you. And oh, she shared some of her little Prima trim with me. This is so pretty, I love it. Thank you so much, Jade. You guys can see that, it's like a 12 inch um, piece of trim. Oh, it's so pretty, I love it. I love the bling in the center. Thank you so much, Jade. So pretty. And then she sent me this. This is cool. Oh, this is neat. Look at that, you guys. Oh, the possibilities. I love it. Thank you, Jade. So you can totally um, cut this up, distress it a bit. That Sears Roebuck and Company. I love this. You gotta tell me where you got this. It's awesome. Let me stick that there. Oh no way! <laughs> you know who's gonna take this from me? My seven-year-old. He loves the Hello Pandas. Um, the chocolate ones, strawberry ones, doesn't matter. He'll eat it. Thank you so much, Jade. Anything with like sweets is perfect because that's what keeps us up right that's what keeps us going when we're scrapping and the coffee grip and rip tearing ruler oh that's neat i've never seen something like this before that's really cool do you guys see that so you lay it down and it's got the um it's got the wavy mark here on the side and then it's got the big wave on the side. So you just lay it down on your paper and you just tear. I have something similar to this by Friskers, but it doesn't look like this. This is really neat. Thank you so much. And let's see, she has this. Look how pretty she wrapped it with the little ribbon or the little bow and the, and the um, Baker's twine. I love Baker's Twine. Um, my favorite things just came out with a bunch of Baker's Twine. Go check it out. They have a whole bunch of colors. <gasps> no way. I'm so, oh my goodness. Thank you so much. I actually did not get this set because my Michaels did not have it. So thank you, Jade. Look at the shoes, you guys. That is so awesome. Love it. And the legs. That is just so 
pretty. I love that. So thank you so much for that. It's the Graphic 45 um, Cling Mount Stamps by Hampton Art. Have you guys seen their um, their new versions of the stamps? You guys should check it out for Le Cirque. And then they have some for Steampunk. And it does have a whole bunch. Oh my goodness. They have a whole bunch of Cling Mount Stamps now. Look how gorgeous that butterfly is, you guys. And it's like rusted and distressed. I love it. It's like a butterfly, but an angel or like a fairy. I don't know if I'm too close, but that is gorgeous. Thank you so much, Jade. I love how it's rusted and it goes perfectly with the Graphic 45 doorknob that I got. It's got the, um, or the door, the door handle. Very cool. Look at the uh, vintage pattern. Love that. And so there's the patterns in here. These are so fun to use in your art journal also. And then you can um, Mod Podge these to your pages. Really fun to work with. You can make flowers with them. There's a lot of possibilities with patterns. Thank you so much, Jade. And then I have one last thing in here. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, what is this? That is neat. It's one of those old school um, stamps, you guys. It's like a metal piece but it's like an image, so you just ink it up. That is really neat. And it's not rubber, it's metal. Thank you. Oops, got things falling here. Oh, how cute, look at this. It's a Hello Kitty um, Pez dispenser. Oh my God, how cute is that? And it's like the red one. I love the red Hello Kitty. And then she got me the Craft Envelope album. Love it, by Graphic 45. I can't wait to make one of these. I haven't had a chance to um, to sit down and actually play with the envelopes. And then, oh my goodness, I love these flowers. They're so cute. I just got more Baker's twine. Let me see if I can get this open without cutting it. I might have to cut the twine. Oh, this one's like on serious lockdown. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. Ooh, <gasps> she was gonna send me this to me um, a while back. She had actually, um, I think she had either shown the DVD, I can't remember now, or the CD, um, or she had some images from it, I can't remember, but oh my God. You guys, this is like an awesome ephemera um, CD. Um, so thank you so much, Jade, I appreciate that. And then she got me these cute stamps. Look at these. Wow, Jade, it's like an endless box of goodness in here. Look at how cute those are, you guys. Ugh, adorable. Love those. Ooh, some Prima flowers. These are so pretty. I love the ones with the um, the sugar, like the sugared look. And these ones are called Winter Rose Vanilla Ice. Very pretty. And you can alter those too with your Starburst stains. Oh my God, how cute. Oh, she sent these to me in black chipboard too. This is the, um, so, was it Sewing Room, um, die cuts by Tim Holtz. Love it. Thank you, Jade. I love this ribbon. It says a mother's love on it. And then here's some Baker's twine. And oh my gosh, these are so cute. The little, um, the little dress forms. I wonder where you got that. That's cute. And she says she sent me some Baker's twine in different colors. And then, oh my goodness. Oh, this is gonna be so fun to alter you guys, this box. She sent me um, September, October. This is a Graphic 45 or Seven Gypsies gaffer tape. Love that. That's always fun to work with. And then a vintage label. It's so funny, it's like, I don't think it actually comes with the lace, but it's like a vintage label. Love it. Fashion trim. So pretty. This is so gorgeous. You guys can see the lace. And then, oh my god, how cute is that? It's a little chalkboard. Oh, oh my gosh, I have the perfect MFT stamp to go with this. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's, okay, I got, uh, thanks Jade for that. I have some ideas what to do with that little chalkboard. Thank you so much. Look at my little initials. This is Making Memories Vintage Groove. And oh, no way. You guys, look at this. 
I'm actually creating um, a project for Stamper's Dream. I'm doing an altered box um, collage. So this is going to go perfect in that. Thank you so much. I love that. It's a dress form, you guys. Looks like it's about maybe two, three inches tall. Love it. Thank you, Jade. And then she sent me some of these really cool tags. Love those. Very vintage. And... Gorgeous, gorgeous trim. Oh my god, look at how pretty she packaged it too. Ugh. Oh, I love that. And you know what? I have, I just started using some for my stash when I made a layout for my sons. And, um, and I just remembered I did, I got it from Jade in a rack um, a while back. She had sent me a rack with some of her pretty lollipop flowers. And here it is again. I love this trim. And it's like a gathered ribbon. Let me see if I can take it out and show you guys what I'm talking about. But I just love it. So pretty. And you could easily do this with your sewing machine, but you guys, I'm too lazy. <laughs> do you guys see that? Awesome. And then um, I think it was either Brandy or, or Mindy. I can't remember. One of you guys was telling me that we can do this on our sewing machine. But you guys, I'm so not savvy with my sewing machine. <laughs> I can sew a stitch and zigzag, and that's about it. Look at how gorgeous that is love it thank you so much jade i really appreciate this and um look at that box you guys this is going to be like super duper fun oh there's the pez <laughs> this is gonna be super fun to alter i love it love it love it so thank you so much jade i appreciate and thanks it thanks for watching everyone have a good one bye